Case 15. Okay, so we see a little bit um, hyper staircases and collagen bundles in the dermis, and there is a like slight pinkish bluish hue under the epidermis, like kind of lichenoid uh, appearance. And when we go high power, we see as as was in the first case, I think, uh, like lots of pigment incontinentia and some keratin um, derived, I think, amyloid with cracking artifact on the papillary. There we go. So it's called like like an Yeah, this is very subtle. Honestly, most cases I see of lichen amyloid. Again, this is the one that's usually on the lower legs. Um, you know, thickened papules or plaques on the pretibial area, the shin. And it usually has hy epidermal hyperplasia and papillomatosis like this, but often like even full-blown lichen simplex chronicus because it's itchy, I think, and people itch. And I don't know whether the itching drives the production of amyloid or the amyloid makes it itchy or it's kind of a chicken and the egg thing. So this one is actually pretty subtle. And really, if you told me that this was from the upper back, I'd say it's macular amyloid. If you told me it's from the lower leg, I'd say it's probably lichen amyloid. To me, these are two kind of clinical variations of the same basic process, keratin amyloid deposition with pigment incontinence. Here we have very, very subtle focal crack like uh, amyloid, keratin amyloid deposits, much more abundant pigment incontinence. Otherwise, if you looked at this, you might think just it's post-inflammatory pigment uh, alteration, you know, PIH, pigment incontinence. Um, and maybe you could also think of like, you know, carp or, or um, uh, acanthosis nigricans, depending on the clinical. The amyloid here is very subtle. But anyway, anytime you see kind of pallor of the papillary dermis with some pigment con uh, dropout, go and look around and see if you can find some amyloid deposits. Here's a little bit right here. Very, very subtle, very tiny focal cracks you can see there. This is a really subtle example. Um, I mean, honestly, if you would ask me to guess, I would say this probably is macular amyloid. Uh, from the upper back rather than lichen amyloid. So I don't know the clinical history here. It's it's labeled as like lichen amyloid on my on my answer sheet, but it also says, you know, could find a better example. <laughs> I agree. But it's a good example of how subtle it can be. All right? Keratin derived amyloid, whichever name you use doesn't matter, but just recognizing it's keratin derived amyloid and pigment incontinence.